chemical tanker arrived with four parcels of phenol. The staff on board was well experienced and were carrying out their duties diligently and safely. The chief officer was supervising the unloading operations and discharge of the phenol parcel was being carried out as per plan. The third officer was assisting the chief officer with the cargo calculation. The master was preparing the various papers needed for the port authorities. The unloading of the second parcel of the phenol was about to be completed and the terminal was informed about the same. Chief officer was controlling the final stages of discharging of the parcel. As per the plan, chief officer prepared the next tank for unloading the next parcel, but was unable to start the deep well pump of four port tank. Chief officer tried to start the pump by increasing and decreasing the hydraulic pressure to the pump both from cargo control room and by operating the deep well pump locally but without success. After analyzing the problem, the reason for the pump not starting was found to be solidification of phenol near the deep well pump. The discharging of phenol resumed after heating the cargo for a few hours. Just before restarting the discharge, the pump man who was trying to take a sample of the parcel found that the drain valve ceased and inadvertently removed the clouds to free the valve and suddenly the phenol sprayed on his hand. The result was the pump man suffered minor burns and had to be hospitalized. The vessel was delayed by five hours. What went wrong? Chief officer well understood that the pore point of phenol was 40 degrees centigrade and so the cargo was heated throughout the voyage. Investigation revealed that during the loaded voyage the cargo temperature was monitored by the remote temperature gauge and heating was restricted for a while by throttling the steam valve to control overheating of the cargo. But the ship staff did not realize that the temperature sensor was 3 meters away from the deep well pump. Another possibility for the seizure of deep well pump may have been due to failure to purge the thermal system during the voyage. Solidification of phenol may have been further aggravated due to presence of coal ballast in the adjacent tank. Accident involving pump man. The pumpman was laid to the all-important free cargo operation briefing where it was specifically instructed regarding dangers of phenol with regard to the skin contact. Main properties of phenol Phenol has a pore point of 40 degrees. This means phenol freezes below 40 degrees. If phenol is stored for a long period, discoloration results and this discoloration increases with the temperature. Phenol is highly toxic and can cause severe burns which can prove fatal. So to carry the phenol safely, planning should start as soon as the details about the cargo is received. Reference publication should include 
MSDS of phenol, supplies details of the cargo, chemical data guide for bulk shipment by water or crisp code and chemical tanker operation manual. Tank should be washed with warm water of temperature more than 60 degrees and temperature should be gradually increased to 80 degrees. And this operation should continue for at least 3 hours. Tanks steamed to achieve the wall wash specification of alpha color less than 10 with inorganic chlorides of less than 100 ppm. In some cases, the sample of fresh water used and sample of last fresh water washing to be retained and presented at the load port. Preparation prior loading phenol should include checking of proper operation of UV walls both on the pressure side and vacuum side. The operation of emergency stops. Check the wall integrity of all the lines which are to be used for loading and unloading of phenol. Remote temperature gauges should be checked for proper operation and should be compared with the relevant readings of portable UTI gauges. Steam heating of the tanks to be loaded with phenol should be checked thoroughly as phenol is very heat sensitive. It is advisable to paint the steam valve serving the deep well pump so that this valve can be safely differentiated from the other valves. Storage plan should consider removing all the ballast from the adjacent ballast tank. Personal protective aids when handling phenol includes a chemical suit, chemical resistant boots, visor and chemical resistant gloves. And all this should be discussed with all staff members involved in phenol cargo operations and should be recorded in the pre-cargo operation form of Fleet Management Limited. At the load port, all staff involved should be attired in proper protective equipment. After connecting the hoses to the manifold, check for leaks near the flanges by soap solution test. As phenol is highly sensitive to heat, it is extremely essential to ascertain quality of the cargo at various stages of loading. This can be done by proper sampling procedures. Samples required are manifold sample, one foot sample, and full tank sample. On completion of loading, all pipelines to be blown through by nitrogen or compressed air so that all pipelines are clear of phenol. In the loaded passage, the daily checks should include checking if PV walls clear of cargo. Deep well pumps should be operated every day to avoid freezing of cargo. Purging of the hydraulic lines serving deep well pump. Temperature of the tank to be checked every day and seem to be recorded in the temperature log and should be come to check with the UTI gauge temperature.